degrees, just two degrees of temperature separate us from this. In the last 200 years, the Earth has suffered the attack of the most aggressive species that has ever populated the planet, man. It is the era of the Anthropocene, the industrial activity of seven billion people that has transformed the atmosphere into a huge greenhouse, triggering unprecedented climate change. There is a consensus in the scientific community that the maximum increase in the temperature that our planet can support and bear is between 1.5 degree, 2 degree. And what you're observing now in terms of natural uh, catastrophic events is just the preview of what we are going to face and this is going to provoke and to cause uh, a lot of death uh, and uh, is going to damage uh, heavily our economy. In addition to the collapse of the ecosystem, these phenomena will hit the economy and the social stability of entire continents like a shockwave. In recent years, the Santana School has studied the phenomenon, highlighting the economic abyss towards which we are sliding, outlining hypotheses for change, and proposing them to decision makers. In our empirical research, we find that uh, each catastrophic event costs 26 million more than the previous year. And just to give an historical evolution of the catastrophic events, in 1970 we find that each catastrophic event was costing $500 million, but now the cost has risen to $10 billion. The destruction of productive activities means that there are entrepreneurs who are unable to repay loans, and even banks are in crisis we find that uh, climate change is going to affect also the financial sector. Indeed, the cost of the climate change will be magnified by financial crisis and banking crisis, which in turn will double our public debt by the end of the century. Stopping this trend is possible, and the school has developed lines of action that can have a positive impact on the future of the planet. We must absolutely decarbonize our economy. The first thing that we need to do is to pass a law that fix a limit of zero emission of greenhouse gases by 2050, as other countries, such as even China, has already uh, done. This is the Green New Deal that binds economists, entrepreneurs, and institutional decision makers closely with the Earth itself. In collaboration with the most prestigious institutes in the world, the Santana School has led numerous European projects and the development of policies for decarbonization. After looking at historical data, the researchers carry out scenario analysis, simulating the impact of various economic policies and providing valuable tools to political decision makers. We absolutely need an entrepreneurial state that design and implement policies in partnership with the private sector. We must seize the last great opportunity for change, an opportunity offered by another global disaster, the pandemic. The resulting economic crisis has heavily overwhelmed the European economies, who have equipped themselves with an innovative financial instrument, the Recovery Fund. The Next Generation U is an historical occasion, a historical opportunity for our country to jumpstart growth in a sustainable way and to grow at zero emissions. So what we need are innovation and transformative uh, policy that allow to develop new technologies such as uh, green uh, hydrogen, which could have a central role in our uh, economy, cutting emissions while creating new jobs. But all transformations have a price. Thus, even in the journey towards a more sustainable world, there will be those who remain behind due to the decommissioning of highly carbonized activities. We need the sustainable growth, but also inclusive growth. That is a growth process that reduces inequality. Design and implement policy to move workers from the brown sector to the green ones. To implement these changes, the Santana School is engaged in a strenuous activity of consulting, information and dissemination with the European and world leaders. 
Thus, the research developed in this institute is transformed into a tool of real impact that contributes to orienting strategic choices towards the most appropriate development models for a sustainable, safer, and more equitable future for us all. I've got a lot from my country, and I think that Scuola Superiore Sant'Anna is a public institution that helps uh, young, talented uh, students to grow up independently from their income and their social background. Uh, our study allows our country to grow in a sustainable and an inclusive way.